Let's come together in a moment of prayer. And in this time of prayer, there's an opportunity to lift up prayer concerns, praises, joy, celebrations that you might have. Are there things that you would like your church family to pray with you about? Anything to be lifted this morning? Louise. I'm grateful for Keith and Lynn for joining our church. Grateful for Keith and Lynn for joining our church. Indeed. Arnita. Great granddaughter to be helped. Myla. Myla. Thank you, Arnita. Uh, for your great granddaughter, Myla, to be healthy. Okay. Noreen. Fifty-six. We will keep Kelly in our prayers. Uh, I want to lift Grace up in prayer. She has influenza A. So, um, which is which is a form of the virus or uh, flu. So, uh, a contagious form. So, we'll keep her in our prayers. Uh, I'd also like to take this moment and lift up our children who uh, ha have been here. They have a two hour rehearsal this morning uh, for the Christmas program next Sunday, the 17th, uh, at 5 p.m. So, give thanks to them as well as the Sunday school teachers who are working with them. All right. Friends, uh, thank you for lifting these, sharing these prayer concerns and praises up. Let's gather this all in, in just a mo uh, for a moment and uh, take it to our Lord in a moment of silent prayer. Almighty and gracious God, we come to you this morning in humbleness, in humility. We come to worship you, to sing your praises, to feel your presence, to open our hearts that we might be who you would have us be. Lord, that's not always an easy thing to be who you would have us be. But we need strength and courage, guidance and direction. We need the power of your Holy Spirit, your blessing upon us to give us strength. Lord, we lift up to you those family members who are hurting or in need of healing who are perhaps lost and don't know your son, Jesus Christ. Who are struggling in life. We pray too, Lord. For the homeless, not only here in our community, but nationwide and worldwide. 
Well, we may only do little things. We do them with great love. Now, Lord, as we come before you, we give you thanks. Let us now join together in the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. invite you to stand as you are able as we sing our sending forth hymn, The King of Glory Comes. The King of Glory comes, a nation rejoices, open the gates be Rejoices, open the gates before him, lift up your voices in all of Galilee and city or village. He goes among his people, curing their illness. The King of Glory comes, the nation rejoices. of salvation and he upon himself the sins of the nation the king of glory comes the nation rejoices open the gates before him lift up your voices he conquered sin and death he truly has risen and he will share heavenly vision the king of glory comes the nation rejoices open the gates before him without your voices friends I offer up this prayer this benediction and I give thanks to you for worshiping with us if you've worshiped virtually with us thank you for being here we give thanks for our guests that are here this morning. Go forth in faith during this season of Advent and put on the armor of Christ's light. As the days grow short and the sun's light wanes, we will shine for all the world to see. Go forth in love during this time of waiting and embrace the peace that surpasses all understanding. Go now to love and serve our Lord in all that you do, all that you are, and all that you will be. God bless you, my friends. Hang around for a little bit and have some cake and ice cream with us.